Revolution, everybody. This is Brother Leonard, the truth seeker, and I'm coming to you with a few minutes of truth. Trump's spiritual advisor and our resident false teacher, Paula White, lost a lawsuit uh, where she tried to silence another YouTube vlogger criticizing the mess that Paula is trying to pass off as sound teaching. Shirley Johnson, kudos to you, uh, was sued by White for copyright infringement. Johnson, however, countersued with a malicious prosecution claim. Ms. Johnson won. According to a report on the Christian Post, White had been ordered to pay Johnson $1,207 in economic damages and $12,500 in non-economic compensatory, uh, compensatory, compensatory damages totaling $13,707. Johnson's testimony about the mental anguish uh, she suffered uh, from the copyright uh, infringement action uh, was credible. Uh, the ruling states that Johnson testified about the lack of sleep, diminished enjoyment in various hobbies, overall worried about the litigation and its consequences on her life. The court continued that uh, continues that Johnson, as an individual unfamiliar with the legal process, credibly suffered emotional harm from the copyright infringement action. But as Johnson did not seek any medical attention and her systems uh, since went away, the court found uh, that she just received a minimum reward um, at the time. Now, Paula White, yeah, see, she has been uh, very proactive in trying to silence her critics. Uh, she uses fear and intimidation, and she also uses these copyright infringement claims uh, to get videos removed from various social media sites. Um, however, those who share her work, by the way, let me say this before I continue on. Yeah, we personally know about her. Uh, removing um, videos of of her critical stuff so yeah we we are very well aware of that now those who share her uh, works that are very favorable to Paula White those are okay to stay yeah they're very okay to stay see this right here is a big victory for bloggers like me okay see I use the fair use doctrine and the copyright laws in order to do these videos. Now, fair use is a doctrine in the law of the United in the law of the United States uh, that permits limited use of copyrighted material without first acquiring permission from the copyright holder. Fair use is one of the limitations to, to copyright uh, in, intended to balance the interests of the copyright holders with the public interest in the wider distribution and use of creative works by allowing as a defense to the copyright um, infringement claims certain limited uses that might otherwise be considered infringement see I use portions of videos and images all the time to provide factual document factual documentation for my commentary this rule is critical I mean critical for truth and accountability this rule allows me to exercise my free speech against those who are trying to intentionally mislead God's people. So to you, Miss Johnson, I raise my fist to you and your legal team. Thank you very much for fighting this good fight. Now, if you would like to read the court's uh, decision, decision in its entirety, there is a link that's posted in the description of this video. This is Brother Leonard the Truth Seeker. One for the good guys. One for the good guys. This is Brother Leonard the Truth Seeker. Revolution. Revolution. This is Brother Leonard the Truth Seeker. Thank you for viewing this video. If you like this video, let me know by leaving a comment and clicking that like button. Also, if you do 
like what I do, please subscribe to this channel and share this video and others on my channel on your social media. If you want more information on what we do within the church folk revolution, go to facebook.com slash the church folk revolution, all one word, the church folk revolution, and join the movement. Once again, this is Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker, Revolution.